All right, welcome back to LearnWire. Today we're going to be doing a quick review and tutorial on this reimagined tool. I found this on AppSumo. It's not ranked at the top. It's not really doing much uh, as far as sales or reviews, um, but I thought I'd give it a little love and take a look at it because I do think that it's pretty interesting. I know that we are all, um, you know, any of us that are building websites and a lot of my audience is very much into building niche websites. Um, images are always one of the things that we um, kind of either struggle with or it's always definitely on the, the radar and the map for every post that we create for our websites, right? And right now you can do mid, mid journey and um, spend time in there to create images, but you all know how long that actually takes. You can use Pexels, uh, Pixabay, and use these royalty-free image sites, but uh, they've been recycled so many times that a um, couple different things. One, you know, your images are not going to be unique. Um, and two, those sites, I think, are starting to get flooded with AI images anyways. Um, and so, and then the other option, if you want to really stand out from the crowd is you go to, um, places like deposit photos or, um, what is it? Uh, Shutterstock or something like that, where, you know, the images cost a lot more money can even cost dollars per um, image. And that can get expensive when you have hundreds of, um, articles that you're putting out per month. So, uh, with that said, I thought this looked pretty cool. Um, I haven't tested it yet, so I'm going to test it right in front of you, but, Basically, what this um, re-image does is it allows marketers and designers to easily create similar images using AI. Our similar images generator Chrome extension solves this by providing, uh, finding the perfect image is a pain. Yep, that's what I just explained. It provides an easy way to generate similar images quickly. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll go check it out. Um, it, I think it's pretty simple. It's not going to be one of these uh, massively in-depth um, reviews that we need to go, you know, 30 minutes into, but um, does look like what you get is an image variations, create multiple images variations for any image you find online, remove the background, extract the uh, main subject from a, a picture with incredible accuracy. It's magic. That's cool. I mean, maybe, maybe we have time to test that uh, against Canva and see if it's better. I know Canva is really, really good at this. Um, if you have Canva pro, you wouldn't really get this tool just for this. Um, replace background, teleport the image subject to anywhere, text remover. Um, and they, it looks like they have a couple things uh, on the way. Uh, image upscaler it looks like we can upscale our images so i'm really interested in uh, image upscaler and just the image variation creating the new, new image right um boom 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 looks like you can actually right click i think you can right click and then uh, reimagine so i'm going to actually right click right here and it does come into your right click if you're on a pc um maybe if you're on a mac as well it does the same thing um it it, it uh, installs up on your um, chrome browser so it is a chrome extension only going to be able to use on you know websites inside of chrome and um you have to be using chrome um so i already have it installed Looks like they have a plan one. Um, so tier one is 2000 AI credits monthly, higher resolution images. Um, so really the only thing that changes is the amount that you get uh, 4,000 AI credits for 78 bucks and plan three, 6,000 AI credits. So overall, um, pretty cool stuff. Um, this person says, I think this Chrome extension has potential. However, credit tracking must be made priority. I purchased tier one, used it for only two days and it already stopped working, asking uh, for an upgrade, blah, blah, blah. So, um, did you enter the code to the extension? Um, so, okay. So they seem responsive. Uh, that's good. And then let's just look at the one review. They have very practical tool that is affordable and very useful. You can use it to create POD products by changing a working product that sells. The fact that it is, um, oh, so print on demand, this person's using it to create print on demand products by changing, uh, you know, basically going to products that are selling and just recreating them. The fact that this is available, right. With a right click makes you, uh, gain time and use it a lot. The pricing is reasonable for solopreneurs. The product uh, has new features coming. So the team is uh, active, will gain value over the next 12 months. Thank you very much. Okay, cool. So let's go test the tool out. Um, here is the website, uh, doesn't have any traffic going to it. So a brand new tool, definitely kind of a, I would say that this is, this seems kind of like a, a smaller launch. I'm not really sure how big this tool is going to blow up, but, um, that's just my guess. Looks like, um, built by engineers from top companies over here. 
and so forth. All right, so um, really it's gonna be just about the results that we get. All right, so we're gonna go to Pexels first and we're gonna go just click over here and let's just go with uh, literally just whatever's on the home page. Let's see about recreating maybe this one right here. Open that up. Let's see if it works right here. I'm gonna right click and push the reimagine image right here. So it's scraped that. We can go with a similar image. Um, let's go and look at what the settings have. Codes, you don't have any codes yet. That's where you'd put your codes in. That's it. super easy and simple. I do like simplicity, that's for dang sure. Um, it looks like we get like, I think we get 20 free credits on the free plan. I'm just checking out the free tool. So we get a similar image, remove background, remove text, and enhance resolution. Obviously we don't need to enhance the resolution from a Pexels. This is very high quality resolution. But let's go with similar image and generate. Let's just see what this is going to do for us. Okay, so that was about uh, 12 seconds. So um, it's not, I would say it's quicker than mid journey, um, but it's, I mean, it's not like instant. So that's obviously good. Um, let's check it out. So it does definitely seem to, you know, it's kind of the, how, okay. So how do we download this image? Uh, right click, save as, maybe we save. I'm going to save that image and then we'll pop it open and see if we get high res. Um, it does have, it is saving it with white background, but it does seem to be pretty high resolution where it would be good enough to put on your website. So it does not have a mouth. Um, this one over here, obviously it does have a mouth on it. So it's not perfect. The scales kind of went away, but I mean, overall, would the, would you be able to put this on your <laughs> would you put this on your website? I mean, it doesn't have a mouth right there. So I'm not really sure you would you quite use this, but it is pretty good. I'd say it's pretty good. The rock didn't change much at all. Um, but I mean, it's, it, I think it's, it, it's definitely doing better than I thought it would. Let's just um, give it that for a grade. Well, let's go and now remove the background and see if it can remove the background for us. Um, I don't see like directions on how to use the tool or anything like that uh, when we come back over. So it kind of scraped that part out. So it didn't really do a good job with the removing of the background right there. Because you can see that the, uh, I can't really zoom in on this guys. I mean, without saving the image. Let me just save it real quick. Okay, so we have the image right here. So you can say it just literally just, it, it, it had a good trace of it right here. It had a really good trace of the image and it was doing this top one up here, right? And then all of a sudden right here, it just basically cut off. Well, there really isn't, you can't really see the hand right there. Um, but it followed along with the rock right here. If you can see what I'm saying. So it just followed the rock and cut everything out. So overall, I think it's pretty good. Um, but it, it didn't come back. And this is probably a pretty difficult image to do the background remove. So let's go and find, um, people. Let's go find a man. And let's see if it will work on, let's say this guy right here. So we will go with um, right click, uh, reimagine image, and I want to remove background generate. And let's just see if it can do a better job with, this is usually the way that you would use it. Oh yeah, I did a great job. Right click, I'm going to save this. I'm going to pop that open and we'll maximize that. It did a perfect job with the background remover. So it's going to work really good with, um, as you get closer, it gets a little bit more pixelated, but definitely you would be able to use this um, on YouTube uh, thumbnails and things like that. So very impressive. It, it it worked like Canva, like you would expect. So I'm glad I did that test. That's usually when you would most of the time uh, use the background remover is with people. Um, <clears throat> this was a very difficult image to do a background removal because the um, lizard <clears throat> blended a hundred percent blended in with the background. So that was not a good example. I don't think any AI tool would be able to actually remove that background on that one. Okay. So it did good. Um, I'm not going to test it on. I mean, I don't think I should test it on people. I just don't think that it's going to be, I guess let's just for fun do it because no AI really um, does good uh, besides mid journey <clears throat> when it comes to designing people in my opinion. So I'm going to right click we're going to similar image generate. Let's just see if it can recreate this guy in any way. Yeah, I'm just not really sure. Um, I'm going to right click and save as. We'll open this up. We'll maximize real quick. Um, not usable. Uh, just definitely just would not be able to use that um, on our site. Um, move it over. So, you know, it's, it is what it is. Um, 
we would I'm going to go and try some gardening pictures now, but uh, definitely it's not there when it comes to uh, using it for people. Um, I just wouldn't really, I wouldn't use it for people. I'd probably use it for um, other niches, but not people, uh, not humans. The background remover is great. Let's go on to my um, gardening site real quick. And I know that these images are real uh, images. They're not from AI. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just right click right here and reimagine this image and we're going to go similar image. Okay. We'll try the remove text in a sec as well. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I think that it definitely would be very useful for any niche that you don't have a bunch of people in the images. All right. So, um, and another thing that it does is it, it has this white background, which I don't quite understand why there's a white background behind it. It shouldn't be a white background. It should just um, do the image. But overall it did, you know, it's just far less noticeable. Any of the imperfections are going to be far less noticeable when it's doing, you know, gardening and things like that. So I think that uh, it's going to shine with this kind of um, stuff, but it has this white background that is just kind of interesting. So that's something to kind of keep in mind. Um, let's go and test a, let's go right over here and view the thumbnail and then right click and then reimagine my thumbnail and let's go with a remove background. No, let's go with a remove text generate and see if it can. I don't know. I mean, if it's recognizes text right here, then it's going to remove the text right there. It also removed the AI wise mind. So actually that worked really well as uh, too. save image as all right. So it did remove the text It kind of blurs out the text in the background blurred out that text around there and then it took out the AI wise mind, but it did kind of affect the rest of the image. So I'm not really sure how we would use this, but I mean, from a far away, um, it looks uh, good. It looks, um, decent. And, um, it's something that you probably could use on a website, especially this was just to test it out. Obviously uh, this wouldn't be a use case really. Um, I mean, I guess if this was somebody's thumbnail, if it didn't have the person on there, like me, myself, you would, basically be able to go and kind of use the um, thumbnail, but you've modified it a ton and then you put your own text over it. You probably could figure out a way to use it. Um, or if you have a really nice image, but there's just a little bit of text on it, we get rid of that. So those are the different, different use cases. So um, overall, I would say, um, you know, for, for using it for this gardening site, I definitely think that um, it worked well. So we click on here. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to right click, reimagine, and see our image. My favorite parts about the software is that it's very, very easy and simple to use. All you have to do is right click on an image while you're surfing and recreate an image. Um, I do think that that is great. Um, but like right here, this is let's go ahead and save it. You can't really get a good idea until you uh, save the image. Open that up. I'm going to close that guy. So. Overall, I mean, kind of a weird line on the hand right there, but, um, you know, it's, it would, it would be an image that's probably passable. I definitely have seen worse AI. Um, I've seen worse AI, uh, image creators. It did a pretty good job with this. Um, probably, probably usable. I would say it's probably about a 6.8 to a seven, um, just barely usable not going to be the most amazing images. Um, you'll have to play around with it, but I think that they have a ways to go. Um, I kind of would stay away from using it with people and hands and things like that. Uh, AI just has a really hard time with that. Um, but if it's, if there isn't any people in the image, I, it seems like it does better. So overall, um, I, it might be worth picking up. Um, I, 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 will, I like how easy it is to use. Um, we'll come back over here. I mean, they have, you can get it for 39 bucks, um, 78 bucks and 117 for 2000 images per month. They do have things on their, their roadmap and so forth. So a cool little tool. Uh, if you want to go check it out, there'll be a link below. All right. See you in the next video.